Welcome back to my channel guys, this is Benito again and this is tutorial number two. In this tutorial I'll basically show you how to create a symbol calculator using App Designer. So let's open up your App Designer window. So in the previous tutorial I showed you, you can just simply type in App Designer into the command window in MATLAB and it opens up um, your App Designer just like this. So Last time we created a very simple app which displays hello world when you click on a button. So this time what we will do is create a mini calculator um, which um, allows the user to input some numbers and calculates the force. So the equation that we'll be using will be Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration. So for this we'll basically use a numeric edit field and we'll use two this time. So simply drag two edit fields into the UI figure. So you, as you can see, all the components are added here. So what we will do is we'll ask the user to input the mass in kilograms and the acceleration in meters per second squared. Okay, and then we will put a button which we will double click and rename to calculate so when the user presses this we should get the force so we need to drop a another field which is basically going to be the force so the user can put in two numbers here and then when they press calculate we should get the force Okay, so similar to last time. So if we, um, I'll quickly show you how to align all this stuff because um, I like to do that. So you can do apply vertically, which is um, uh, spacing. So we can apply vertical spacing. So it evens out the vertical spacing. And then we'll do align to the right. So it aligns everything with this line. Okay, now just need to add the units here. Newton. Okay, so similar to last time, we will right click and then click on callback and call back again. So now we can basically um, remove this and add our own code. So you can see, similar to last time, we have a calculate button value changed callback in the callbacks um, category. So what we have is the mass. So we will say, we'll assign a variable to each of these edit text field values. So we will say mass equals app dot mass. If you press tab, it should show us the options. So you have the label, which is the actual label here. And then you, you've got the edit field, which is the actual um, field. So we'll click the edit field and then dot value and then tab to finish off. So, so mass is um, defined as the value which is inside this text box. Similarly, we'll do acceleration, x for short, then equals app dot acc tab and get the edit field dot value semicolon now we'll do force equals mass multiplied by acceleration and then semicolon and then we will say so this calculates the force then we need to display this force value um, in the text field uh, sorry yeah, the numeric field, which is called force and edit field. So we'll say app dot force and edit field dot value equals force. There you go. So we'll just get rid of these spaces. 
okay and if you like to add comments it's um, similar to MATLAB you just use the percentage sign and then say force for Newton's second law if equals MA right uh, also you can change the name of the edit field if you like but I've just kept it as the same um, as MATLAB defined it to be so when you write bigger programs um, you can you can change this all the time so this should work now let's have a look so if we click run okay we'll say the mass is 10 kilograms and the acceleration is 10 meters per second squared so when we click calculate we get 100 newtons which is correct so this is a very straightforward method um, you can quickly create simple calculators like this and use it repeatedly in MATLAB um, to calculate things pretty quickly without you know putting it into an Excel uh, equation or um, any other method that you're currently using um, in the next video tutorial I'll also show you how to compile this app so you can get it in the MATLAB's apps folder so you can compile the app that you've just created and then you can you can basically display here so you can see this is something that I created previously which is like a storage calculator that I use quite frequently so we can compile the app and make it readily available uh, for frequent use so that will be in the next tutorial hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and learn something new um, and stay tuned for the next video